TSUTigers.com with another off the grid with senior softball player Olivia Gamash. Um, Olivia, what is your major here at Tennessee State? I'm majoring in athletic training and um, minoring in business. And after uh, college, what would you like to do with uh, your my, life? Well, my future plans are to become a coach and um, to open up my own indoor um, baseball and softball facility with a gym. Um, so that's my dream. Okay. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Exeter, Rhode Island. Okay, and uh, where is that and kind of uh, what, what size town is that? And give us uh, a little bit about Exeter. Exeter, it's kind of, um, well, my house personally is five minutes from Connecticut, so pretty close to that. And uh, it's just a small, a small town um, full of woods and farmland. You know, it's the country of Rhode Island, so. What are some of the things that you like to do there? Um, I just like to hang out with my friends and my family, you know, have bonfires, whether it's at my friend's house or at my house. Um, just to hang out, so have a good time. And uh, what are some of like the uh, the larger cities or some of the places that you would go to, you know, to do other things? Uh, well, in Rhode Island, Providence, which is about 30 minutes, it's a small state, you know, it's about 30 minutes from my house. Um, it's the biggest city. Um, there's the Providence Mall, which is the main mall of Rhode Island, and there's Warwick, which is between me and Providence, and there's another mall there, but I like to um, go to Middletown mostly because I used to, I grew up there. Um, I used to live in Middletown, it's a beach town, and I like to go and you know visit all my friends back there. So. Okay. And uh, you had mentioned earlier about the you know trying to open up a gym that's softball and baseball related. I mean, do you have a favorite baseball team? Um, yeah, my favorite baseball team is the Boston Red Sox. And uh, how did you become uh, a Red Sox fan? I grew up around around it. My whole family is into the Red Sox and my neighbors were, you know, it's the Red Sox nation up there. So, you know, we all love the Red Sox. Okay. And a lot of get togethers? Um, yep. When I was growing up in Middletown, uh, our neighbors actually, we used to hang out with them every time uh, the games would be on and just, you know, have fun with them. So. Okay. And uh, is there anything, uh, you know, Red Sox related that uh, you have that you might uh, take on road trips with you and such? Um, yeah, I have a pillow pet uh, of Wally the Green Monster. You know, he travels with me every road trip, so. Okay, and uh, has uh, Wally ever gotten into any trouble on any of the road trips? Um, yes, pretty much every road trip, because surrounded by uh, Yankee fans with my, you know, my coach and stuff. And, so he's gotten in some trouble. It's been <laughs> hidden in some of the compartments overhead. So, <laughs> but. okay. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the high school you went to. Um, my high school, I actually the one I graduated from. I only went to for uh, my senior year. Um, it was Exeter West Greenwich. It was the regional high school around my town. Um, so when I got there, I really didn't know many people, but. Um, I met a lot of great friends and, you know, played softball for them and, you know, had a really great senior year, so. And then um, before senior year, I went to the Prout School, which is a, a private school in Rhode Island. And, you know, I had a good time there, too, but um, just th thought about bringing it back uh, to my town for my senior year, so. Now, obviously, you, uh, you've taken to the sport of softball, but... Uh, were there any other sports or activities that you did uh, when you were growing up? Um, well, when I was growing up, I played all different sports. Um, middle school, I played basketball. When I got to high school, I got into volleyball, so I played that um, for three years at Pro. And then my senior year, I just decided not to. Um, played soccer when I was little, but that was kind of, you know, a little rough one. I wasn't that great at that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that's about it. You know, I was always into sports, me and my brothers and sisters, so. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you you talk about your brothers and sisters. Uh, how many siblings do you have? Um, I have two brothers and one sister. Um, one older brother, one younger brother, and one younger sister, so. Yeah. And are they all in the uh, softball and baseball community as well? or? Yes, they are. Um, they all play baseball or softball. My younger sister, you know, she's... Uh, kind of fall in the train she's only 13 um 14 sorry but um you know she's back there doing that and uh, my older brother plays and my younger brother is in college now playing so. and where's your younger brother at my younger brother is at Binghamton University in uh, New upstate New York um, he's loving it up there so he's doing really well and uh, your older brother where did he play ball at 
My older brother played um, at Auburn University in Alabama, and um, you know he played three years for them. He loved it. So. Okay. Now, uh, how did uh, baseball and softball become the the family sports, and how did you get into softball in particular? Um, I got into softball by just watching my older brother play baseball. You know, um, my parents played sports, and we had a really big um, little league where I was, where I grew up, and my dad was the, um, you know, president of the Little League for a, a while there, so we were always involved in that. I w went to every single one of my brother's games and stuff, and I remember, I think it was my 11th birthday, I got, all I got was a glove, and I was so excited. Me and my brothers went down to the field, and we spent uh, quite a few hours down at the field just playing, so we really loved it. So. Now, obviously, um you're a pitcher, mm -hmm. and how did that come about where you started uh, looking at training in, as a pitcher and decided to, yes, I want to stay a pitcher? Um, well, pitching didn't come right when I started. I started playing right when I was 10, I think, and pitching didn't start until I was 12 or 13. Um, but my coach from one of my Little League teams just said we needed a pitcher, and you know, I went to one of the practices and started pitching a little bit. When I started, it was very rough. Uh, a good portion of the balls that I threw uh, to the catcher went over the backstop, <laughs> so it was it was a it was a struggle starting. But um, after then, I started going you know pitching lessons and really getting into it. I realized that that's really what I love doing, you know, having control over the game and all that. Um, and I just stuck with it and went to pitching lessons like twice a week, pitched every day, you know, just worked really hard at it. Well, now it's, now it's interesting that you mentioned you know, a lot of balls going over the backstop and such. I mean, was there ever a time you go, eh, this is just, this is just not for me. This is not me. Um, no, not really. I was just out there having fun. You know, I wasn't really at that at that age. I wasn't really focused in on um, like getting better. You know, I w I wanted to get better at the at the position, but I was just there having fun. You know, with my friends and stuff. And, uh, once I got to do the pitching lessons, I realized, oh, like, this could actually be a possibility. You know, I could really do this. And, uh, you know, I never really thought about stopping pitching. You know, it was a spot for me. So, you know, everybody has that spot that they, you know, feel right in. So mine was in the circle. Well, how did you come about Tennessee State University? Um, Tennessee State, when I was a junior in high school, um, my pitching coach, was also the pitching coach of uh, one of our former players, Caitlin Eaton. And um, my pitching coach, you know, she knew that I was looking to go down south for school. So she called up um, the old coach from here um, and got her to come down to Florida to see me play in a tournament. And she went and saw me in the tournament and um, invited me to come for an official visit. And I came, visited the school, you know, met the team. I really liked the campus, really liked the school, so um, I decided to come down here. Now, obviously, you talk about where you're from, being in Exeter, being a smaller, you know, a lot of country and wooded yeah. areas. And then you come to Nashville, a little bit larger city, not the mm -hmm. largest, you know, obviously, I'm sure you've been to Boston and such before, yeah. but, but you know, it's a pretty good sized city, and, and obviously, being in the South, a little bit of culture change. I mean, what's... Uh, you know, what are some of the differences between the two and, and what excited you about even coming to Nashville? Um, well, I always wanted to come south, so whatever chance I got, I was, com was going to come down south. Um, you know, Exeter, it's a highly wooded area, you know. My house is 15 minutes away from the nearest gas station, nearest um, store, anything. Um, I live about 10 minutes away from all my friends. You know, it's really secluded, but um, coming down to Nashville, I love, I like cities. Um, I like to be able to be near people. Um, in high school, I hated being in the woods. It was just, it was terrible, but <laughs> um, now I appreciate more, appreciate it more. Um, but I like the cities, you know. I like being able to be around people, being able to go do things that are close and all that, so. What is uh, your favorite thing about Nashville uh, so far, and, and as well as that, maybe even is there a like a food place or anything that you're just like, oh, I really, uh, really like that here in Nashville? I don't know. The 
food's so great down here, so <laughs> I can't really pinpoint one place, but um, I don't know if it's really being, as, I'm sorry, really Nashville, but I think it's just like the people that I've met down here, you know, everybody's so nice and welcoming, you know, up north we have this uh, thing where everybody just, you know, you walk by someone and they don't even pay attention to you, but um, here you're walking down the street and you know, you just get a uh, hello, like, how are you? How's your day? You know, I love that. I love that people are friendly and stuff. So that's probably one of my favorite things. Well, let's talk a little bit about softball. Um, you know, obviously you've been a part about a part of the team for, for three years. This is your senior season. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what, what do you kind of uh, look forward to in your final season here? Um, well, I look forward to having a great season. You know, we have a great team. Um, I love all my teammates. You know, we're really uh, doing great in practice and stuff. Um, our team camaraderie is just amazing. And I just look forward to having a great season. You know, me and Ashley, you know, we've, we've both been here for four years. So we're really, uh, really looking forward to this year. And. Uh, who are some of your favorite people on the team, and and I guess in particular, what's what's the relationship uh, with your bullpen mates being the other the other pitchers on the t on the team? Um, I don't know if I I don't I can't pick a favorite on my team. You know, I love all the girls the same. Um, my bullpen, me and Shay, we've been together for the last three years, so you know we always have a good time. Um, Hannah and Olivia are new, so. We haven't really been able to feel them out that much because Olivia's always with the infield, but um, we all love each other, so it's going to be a great year. Um, what is, um, you know, being a part of Tennessee State University, what, what is probably your favorite moment or fondest memory uh, of, of being a part of Tiger Nation? Uh, gosh, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to say all the sports events. You know, we're just, TSU is a big family, you know. Um, all the sports teams, you know, we, we support each other. Um, I support the football team, the basketball team, all of them, volleyball team. You know, we just love going to each other's games and, you know, seeing everybody succeed. So. Well, as we get a little bit closer down to the end here, what, what, uh, what inspires you? Um, my family inspires me, you know. Uh, my family works so hard to do what they do, and I think it's just great. So that really is my big inspiration. Now obviously you being in Tennessee and then uh, you know obviously your brother you said your older brother was at Auburn, mm -hmm. um, your other uh, younger brother being in Binghamton and obviously your younger sister's at home. Mm -hmm. You know being so spread out you know what what's that what's that kind of like uh, being apart from each other? Um, you know it's we've gotten a lot closer from being further apart. Um, when we were younger, you know, me and my brothers, we used to get in like the sibling, sibling rivalries, the little fights and stuff. But now, you know, I talk to my uh, my siblings every week, and you know, we just have a great time whenever t we're together. So it's a good time. Oh, very good. Now I have to ask the the one question: if it weren't, if it wasn't softball, mm -hmm. what sport would you be playing? I'd probably try to play volleyball. I really loved playing volleyball in uh, high school. My mom played volleyball when she was uh, in high school, so that would probably be my other sport. So. Well, terrific. Well, Olivia, we appreciate you sitting down and speaking with us, and we're very honored to have you a part of uh, the Tennessee State University family. Thanks. Thank you.